हेलो अंकित हेलो आशुतोष हाय राकेश या व्हाट हैपेन या सो द थिंग इज व्हेन आई जॉइन दिस कंपनी दिस वाज अ वेरी स्मॉल स्टार्टअप सो द प्रोजेक्ट दैट दे हायर्ड मी दे नेवर गॉट इट सो आई थिंक इन पास्ट और सो लाइव स्ट्रीम आई आल्सो टोल्ड दैट वी आर स्टिल वेटिंग फॉर द डेटा टू कम बट देन द डेटा नेवर केम एंड Uh, that project never came and it is just a startup so obviously they don't have any other project at this point in the uk obviously it's a they have some project in ireland because it's an ireland based company so um yeah they do have projects in ireland but the thing is all the visa and all those things so uh, that will be a pain but uh, yeah because of that they decided to just lay me off because they didn't get the project and obviously it's a startup so it's not feasible for them to just keep me there and pay me salary so yeah because of that i i uh, they have just laid me off so yeah that's the case so currently i am still i'm trying to look for some other job in the uk itself i'm not moving to ireland um but i think i'm open to any other place as well um, as for ireland i think ireland is also not in a very good position right now so they are also they are also it's like very expensive everything is very expensive there so i don't know yet what to do what not to do but i am looking for a job in the uk itself for now and probably i will also look for something in the in india itself so i don't know um things are not really good here in the uk and things are getting worse and worse uh, i i recently shared a link in my in my community section uh, about a video which uh, in that it, it it's a it, it's a podcast so though two people were discussing about uk's economy and how things are going bad and when it actually started so i do recommend everyone to watch that video it will give you a very good understanding about Uh, how things are in the uk and things are actually not looking really good here so it's a long video so watch it in your own time it's it will give you some insight about uh, uh insight about things in the uk so yeah will able to return loan working in india um yeah i don't know um, it depends on um it depends on the kind of salary which i will be getting if i'm getting around 10 15 lakh per annum i think it should be fine but if it is 5 6 lakh or something i think it will be hard to pay back installments so that's there but uh, still i have time i i and i also applied for a graduate visa as well because when a company sponsor you and then when they uh have to leave off or you just leave the company your uh, visa gets cancelled and you have to apply for another sponsorship from some other company so that's there so again that visa is gone so i applied for graduate visa itself so we'll see uh, i have appointment on 23rd of uh, jan so yeah that's what uh, that's the plan for now i will try to find job in the uk but if not i think i will parallelly apply for jobs in in india in india as well and you will be able to return no no you that sounds right you can easily get 12 to 13 lakh in india yeah if that's the case i, I will like i told you i will uh, try to apply for jobs in india also whichever will feel good i will probably uh, go for that um i'm also evaluating my options whether to go for job or something else so there are a lot of things on my mind uh, <laughs> yeah so <laughs> yeah I'm, i just wanted to share this with you guys so i just told you because i like to share everything um whatever is going on here or whatever i'm doing i just don't like to hide stuff if i'm doing something good i share that if i'm doing something bad i share that as well so for me it's not like only sharing about success i share about failure failures as well so 
ya um, what are famous job sites in the uk like uh, in india we have nokri so here there are lots and lots of websites linkedin of course is very popular everywhere so linkedin is there and then a cv library is there total job is there target jobs is there read is there r double e d is there indeed works here as well so these are some of the top websites where you can actually look for jobs and you can find those things here as well so yeah these are some of the popular websites and here i think studying for business analytics degree will get me a job i have paid for the msc course and i am a mature student with 20 years of experience in operations if clever people like you are being laid off then it's a very good word um it's not about uh, clever people or something because if you take an example uh, like uh, uh, people working at meta facebook google facebook and meta are same so amazon so obviously those people are smart i guess so they are also getting laid off so it's not about how smart you are it's totally dependent on how the economy is doing and whether the company has a project or not if a company does not have enough funding or money to keep you in the company obviously you will be as an employee will be the one who will get axed first so yeah that's the case i i don't consider it to be a measure of smart or not i think it's all depending on what type of company you're working on and what type of how's the economy and how's how the company is doing so it there are a lot of different factors so again um, rather than worrying about things because i i'm not worrying about like okay they have been laid laid me off and then what am i going to do now i like i told you i'm considering a lot of different options whichever will suit me the best i will probably go for that and uh, i'm not trying to worry about stuff obviously it is very demotivating and it's not uh, good obviously it affects your mental as well because you have to pay your monthly installments for your loan and uh, now you don't have a job so it's hard of course but i'm trying to be positive and i'm trying to apply for jobs now and i'm trying to do other things as well so let's hope something will happen rather than just worrying i don't think anything's going to happen so it's better to uh it's better to stay positive and uh, keep learning new stuff and probably uh apply for more jobs and hopefully we'll find something anch um sir have you been laid off um yeah <laughs> i have been laid off i discussed the reason in the initial part so initial part of this particular live stream so if you want you can just check out that as well uh is it worth it to prepare for gate and do masters or india in india and just go for off campus placement after bachelors um so if you are confident that you will get under 1000 rank in gate i think it is worth it you can do it but if you feel if you have a slightest of doubt that you won't be able to be in top 1000 in gate i think it's better to um skill up yourself learn new stuff and go for off campus placement because that will be the best uh, possible case rather than depending on your college and uh, preparing for like days and nights for gate because gate is again uh, in the top 10 uh, most difficult exams in the world so i think it's it's placed at 6 or 7 some somewhere that so it's a it's a tough exam uh, and if you feel like you don't have uh, confidence to get in top 1000 then it's better to skill up yourself and probably learn new things if you are interested in data science uh, go for uh, data science skills and apply uh, off campus if you are interested in web development there's a lot of scope there as well so whatever is your interest learn those skills and 
apply for jobs off campus so that should be the better option i guess um yeah that's what i believe in because i tried uh, because i from the beginning i wanted to study abroad but uh, my parents wanted my parents wanted me to be in india so they told me uh, rather than going out you should just prepare for gate and uh, right gate and see um, if you get something because parents uh, obviously they wanted me to be in india um, because i will be close to them uh, but the thing is the gate exams are usually in feb and uh, i started preparing in uh, november end so i had like december and january two months so i prepared for that and my rank was somewhere around 5000 or something uh, which was definitely not good you can't even get into nids i guess so uh, that was the thing but uh, as soon as i wrote my exam i just wrote it for my parents but then after that and during that as well i was trying to convince them uh, going outside is a better case blah 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 and what and what not but uh, and eventually they agreed so i started applying for uh, universities outside both in ireland, ireland and uk so yeah that's there so eventually i came out and uh, if i had planned to take gate and uh, next time as well let's say in 20 21 so i don't know if i was able to crack or not i don't know but uh, i would have wasted another year so instead of that i was learning lot of different um data science stuff and all those things i was doing lot of different projects so um yeah i personally feel like if you don't want to waste too much time in preparing gate i think it's better to find a job outside of your uh, campus placement by skilling yourself up what are the basic steps i should follow during msc to get phd admission with scholarship in data science additional project or anything like that so rather than doing additional project if you publish lot of papers i think that will be a very good sign that you like academics and uh, it will probably give you an upper hand over someone who has lots and lots of projects so writing uh, papers is uh, one of the key things that usually they look for i wish you all the best best rakesh uh, it's very important to keep positive attitude i think <laughs> because if you get demotivated and if you feel like not doing anything um that's not going to take you anywhere so yeah it's always good to keep positive every time i'm pretty sure you will be uh, you will do you will do great i think you could job by completion applied a i think you could job by completion um yeah uh, obviously applied a course is a good course so uh in terms of course content yes it is a um, it is a very good course but uh, many people get tricked by job guarantee i got one of the comments uh, so someone said that it's a scam because they said job guarantee and after completion of the course all i got was a job portal where i was applying and i was not getting any uh call so obviously job guarantee is not like if you complete the course they will put you and they will put uh, they will take you and put you in a company it's ultimately it's up to company whether they want to hire you or not even though if you have completed your course even though if you have done something so it's again up to you uh, how well you have done in your course and how well you have structured your uh, projects whichever you are doing as part of applied a course and also how good you are writing your technical blogs so that is also something which people fail to uh, think about so those are things and yes of course uh, after doing uh, after doing applied a course it is possible to um, get job
it's always good to have such kind of support rakesh it's, it's it's always good to know that people are getting benefited from the content which i'm making how is the full time job scenario in uk after completing msc so currently it's bad so um yeah i'm trying to apply for different jobs but it's not there aren't that many number of jobs so yeah uh, when i applied for jobs back in let's say last year january there were lots and lots of jobs and even in uh, august when i was applying i think there were still good number of jobs but now it's getting less and less so it's hard but uh, yeah there are jobs but uh, it's not that many because now the people are also increasing just because of psw lots and lots of people are coming their target was to get around 6 million uh, people for masters from outside in next 10 years i think and they got those main number of people in just one year so you see how many people are coming and Uh, again i would refer you to watch a video which i have posted in the community section if you're planning to come to uk uh, just to get an idea about how bad the uk economy is right now what is the scope of msc management from ucl um i don't know about the course curriculum and what's the scope of management of course management is a good course if you have good amount of experience so let's say if you have 6 7 years of experience i think doing a management course would be a good option but uh, for someone who has very less experience i don't think management course give them any upper hand if you have qualified for gate you can apply for lab in iits further can accept in their phd program okay i didn't know about this um i i cleared my gate in 2020 i guess and gate scores are are valid for 3 years i suppose 23 20 21 22 23 yeah i think it will be <laughs> it will expire this year so yeah do entry level data analytics get sponsored mm. it's hard to say because if it's entry level or even if it's a graduate graduate roles are usually not sponsored so that's there entry level it totally depends on the company company if company want if company have the a company has the um because usually what happens is in a company there are certain number of uh, sponsorships which they can offer so if they want to hire someone with significant skill and they want to use that sponsorship for them they will keep that sponsorship for them and not give it to entry level jobs but if they have in good number and uh, they are not looking forward to hire someone with good amount of experience then probably you will be able to get uh, sponsorship what is the technical blog you were talking about so as a uh, as part of your applied ai course you usually write two technical blogs you used to write i don't know if that's the case still but uh, yeah you, you had to write two technical blogs so you will be doing two case self case studies so uh, to explain those uh, case studies you will have to write a technical blog so that's what i was talking about I started a MSc business analytics in Coventry University in Jan 23. Please suggest necessary steps during my course to increase my job prospects. So I would suggest you to watch this particular video. I will share the link just so 
you don't have to struggle to find it um that video should uh, give you a very good idea about what things you should do where's the live stream So yeah, this is the link to that video. I have discussed about some of the important things that you can do during your masters to increase your chances of getting jobs soon. MSc Data Science or AI. Uh, from what I have seen is in AI, you usually learn about how to how to design a solution using AI for a particular problem, and you also learn about um, deep learning and stuff so if you already know machine learning properly then you can probably go for ai but if you want to learn about data analysis uh, data munging and uh, feature engineering feature extraction and all those kind of things and of course machine learning as well then i think it's better to go for data science Yes, you are eligible for that. I will try for that if I am so. Uh, that's good to know. Thank you, Ashutosh. Do you see the situation improving in next one, two years? Or do you see this getting worse? Um, personally, the video which I'm talking about, I saw after watching that video, I don't think it is getting any better. And... Uh, also not just that video i have been watching a lot of other videos as well about uk's economy and it's not just about economy i think it's also uh, like the individual's salary the way it has increased in other countries like uh, uh, us germany france and uh, australia these kind of countries it hasn't uh, grown uh, with that rate in the uk so salary is also not growing that much on top of that with brexit i think it has affected their economy really bad because when they decided uh, on brexit during that time covid was also there so all the blame went to covid but now that uh, things are much more settled now everybody can see the impact of brexit so um it, it is it's not looking really good and even though uk decides to join eu again i think eu won't accept uh, uk with all the benefits which they had before probably they will impose some restrictions and all and now scotland is also trying to uh, get independence and they want to join eu so if scotland leaves then again England, Wales and uh, Northern Ireland, probably Northern Ireland will also leave and it will join Ireland. So uh, yeah, uh, things are not looking good in uh, coming years. Uh, as for uh, Andrew Bailey, who is, uh, who is the boss of uh, Bank of England, as per him, next two years will be really very difficult. We don't know what will happen after that, but for, as per him to next two years will as next two years will be bad which is good in uk for job sponsorship um there's nothing like if you do data analytics you will get sponsorship job or if you do data science you will get sponsorship job it's totally dependent on what type of company you are going in so let's say if you did a data analytics job but then you go to a company where they are advertising a data science role under data analytics then uh, you will be doing everything what a data scientist would do and probably you will get a sponsorship as well and if you do a data science uh, course and if you get into a company where they are advertising data analytics role under data science you will be doing just data analytics part and you might or might not get a sponsorship so it's not about which course it's about the company so yeah that's there 
where to go for ms canada or uk i would suggest canada at this point because canada is looking much better the whole um, the whole world economy is bad but uh, uk is looking in a pretty bad shape right now so if i had to go for master somewhere i would today i would go for canada hey roshan how are you doing man any plans for the weekend um nothing uh, just i need to apply for jobs and uh, yeah on and also i will be working on the series which currently i'm running statistics for data science so i have posted around four videos so probably today i will post a video about shifting and scaling of the data so how it affects our mean median mode range standard deviation variance so all those kind of things so uh, that video will go live today at 4 uh, gmt 4 pm gmt so yeah just working on that and applying for jobs that's all I know getting a sponsored job is almost out of uh, question now but do you see people getting job while on PSW yes people are getting jobs on PSW but uh, now it is getting very hard to find a job on PSW as well um, I don't know what's pulling people back for hiring uh, someone on post-study work visa maybe it's something that the companies are looking for long term because they're thinking that okay we hire someone for let's say two years and but then after that we will have to sponsor them or we will have to probably find someone else so that could be the reason so government is definitely not making it easier for company to hire international candidates which is again something which i feel like is working against uk's economy because if you see here in the UK, not many people from the UK would want to study STEM courses. So they have to rely on international students. But again, they are not making it easier for them, uh, for the company and also for international candidates to find a job. So, um, yeah, because in a recent article, it was written that only 3% of the company companies are making use of uh, post-study work visa so clearly either companies don't know about it but i think they know about it because whenever i get a call usually they say uh, you will have to take post-study work visa because we don't know whether we will be sponsoring after two years so it's there's uncertainty and also some just say that uh, okay we will okay you will work for let's say two years on post study work visa but what about after that so again either companies are looking for long run and government is not making it easy for them so uh, yeah that's the case right now data science is about stats and ai is about algorithm um ai in data science also you will be learning a lot of algorithm like machine learning algorithms in ai algorithm whatever algorithm that you will be training under the hood it's mathematics so maybe not statistics but uh, mathematics like linear algebra calculus and metrics uh, manipulation and things like that so ultimately you will be learning maths for ai as well so yeah that's my thought on it I saw your series of uh, videos about stats concept it was really helpful and my progress since i am learning maths concept for ml please click please keep educating people like me yes definitely like i told you in the comments as well um, these kind of videos don't really get much views and also takes quite a lot of effort to uh, make these videos because i am also including the code part so it takes uh, time a little bit of time but again it takes time uh, to write that particular notebook and uh, 
put that on github and all those kind of things so that it has access to i mean everybody has access to those notebooks and uh, recording on screen i'm not very used to that i'm very new to that so uh, like writing and speaking so i can't really do that uh, together but i'm trying to do and i'm still learning that process of teaching on a, in a video format i have done it on let's say paper and in live so that's a completely different thing as compared to uh, teaching on a uh, whiteboard on your tab so it's kind of a different experience but i'm enjoying it and i'm learning it it's a new experience for me as well so that's it but yeah it takes quite a lot of effort to make these videos and these videos don't really get uh, that much view but when i get uh, comments like yours shri it motivates me that these videos are helping you and uh, as long as you are getting benefit out of it that's all uh, what matters to me so yeah i will uh, i will try to complete these uh, complete this series so that you can get a very good idea about what all statistical topics you need to know for uh, data science oh applying for job why didn't you get a sponsored job in that startup um so yeah i got laid off uh, i talked about that in the initial uh, part of this live stream so yeah do check out that so yeah i got laid off so obviously that sponsorship is gone now so i applied for graduate visa and uh, yeah again back to uh, job hunting <laughs> Why you lost your job uh, which company you worked so yeah i have i discussed about this in the initial part of this live stream so please do go uh, watch that particular section what will be the recession impact in india so right now india is looking pretty good and i think india is the outlier right now because india is doing fairly well uh but obviously when things will go really really bad india will also get impacted because india provides a lot of services it services to uh, foreign companies like google microsoft and intel lot of other companies so when the when the companies which are in the us or in any other part of uh, the world if their business get affected obviously it will eventually affect uh, india as well but right now india is looking stable and uh, i would hope that before india get impacted <laughs> things get better an impact on service based companies um so yeah uh, obviously service based companies are getting affected the more because they are providing services to uh, let's take an example here uh, let's say there is a company service space company x which is providing uh, services and consultancy to a logistics company why so now that there is not much manufacturing going on and there is no raw material so there isn't much to transport for a logistics company so now they they are not getting let's say too much traffic on their website so they don't need lot of maintenance they don't need lot of uh, resources so let's say they are using aws to host their website so they don't need now that much resources what they need what they needed before so now they will use less of uh, aws and then they will obviously pay less to aws now aws is being affected and obviously their website is uh, not getting too much traffic so they don't need now company x's uh, support that much maybe they will ask them to reduce the team so that they will have to pay less so now enforces will or let's say enforces is, is is actually a very good example so let's say enforces is work ha was having let's say 10 people in a in a in a team and now their client is saying that uh, we don't want that many people we we are happy for uh, having um let's say seven people so three will get laid off 
obviously not later but then they will go on bench so that's their infosys can also uh, start firing people if things go really bad so that's how it is and now that aws is also being affected so it's it's like a cycle so if one thing get affected everything's gonna fall apart so that's there now how long this recession will last experts you experts are saying that it may last for two or maybe more so two year two years is probably the minimum but uh, yeah that's what most people are saying honestly lotion india isn't doing all that well in terms of job market due to the it's on the north american market the jobs are in very less numbers compared to before yes i agree with you it's not that good what it was before but it is still better as compared to lot of other countries so definitely it's bad it's bad everywhere because it is depending on uh, other com- other countries as well so that's what we discussed earlier so uh, yes it's bad but uh, it's still surviving in a relatively better way as compared to other countries hey mohit yeah how good i hope you are doing good as well for fishes currently the job market of india isn't any better than that it is in eu or the uk and the pay just doesn't compare either if you have some experience in data science then certainly there are jobs for people with like 3 plus years of experience even a company like tcs is laying off in india that's oh that's really bad man Uh, so yeah um, india is also showing some signs of recession now so yeah everything is bad right now so probably it was a bad timing for me to <laughs> come here and now have quite a lot of loan and i need to pay back so that's why i'm suggesting everyone right now to postpone their plans of studying abroad because it's it's going to be very risky right now you can definitely if you are not relying on loans if you don't have education loan then probably you are very good uh, from your financial background but if you are going to take loan i think it's going to be really hectic so yeah that's the thing it's really bad right now what about ireland ireland is no exception ireland is also facing all the crisis the only thing about ireland is ireland has some uh what do we call it has some policies with uk and with eu as well so ireland is kind of in between so it's not as bad as uk but again it's a part of eu so it is also facing all the crisis which other eu countries are facing it's just that india is showing the signs of recession a bit late but i am pretty damn sure india isn't going to be any better than europe job market even the us job market is pretty bad exactly uh us job market is also really bad because my friends who are in us they are trying to find job and no luck with that so yeah they are also finding it to be really hard same is the case for canada as well it's hard to find job anywhere else 
I, I have suppose I got less marks in IELTS. Still, can I get admission by applying pre session course? Yes, if you have less marks in your IELTS, you can definitely apply for pre session and your course will probably start two months prior to the original course commencement. So they will be covering a lot of different English topics and uh, all those kind of things. So yes, it is totally possible. But for that, I think you will have to take um, IELTS UKVI and not IELTS Academics. So that is something you need to get it clarified. So that's there. Were you a data scientist? Yes, I was a data scientist. I'm still a data scientist. <laughs> it's just I'm not employed right now. <laughs> Will this affect your visa? Um, Will this affect your visa? What will affect my visa? So, um, yeah, the company where I was working, they had sponsored my visa, but then they had to lay me off. So that visa will get canceled. And uh, for that, I have applied for a graduate visa so that I can stay in the UK for a little longer to find another job. So, yeah. From which company did you get laid off? It's called Cleania. It's a very small startup. What can they immediately give me? Un but can they immediately give me? Unconditional love letter. I think yes, they can because without unconditional offer, you cannot apply for visa. So you can, and when you join your pre session, I think you will have to so show certain amount of uh, growth in your language, I guess. And if you are able to do that, probably you will be enrolled for the course. I think you will be. Uh, able to enroll for the course regardless but uh, yeah without unconditional offer letter i don't think you can apply for visa so yeah my cousin's friend completed his master's in computer science from germany and he is looking for a job in it for the last six months and he still hasn't found a job in his domain by the way were you able to talk to your friend in germany with the one um yeah uh, i told you i think last time yeah i talked to her and uh, she told that uh i mean as per her information it seems like germany has some jobs and i also talked to her about language she was like just like you told last time that uh, some part of Germany would want you to have very good German, but in some parts you don't really need that much. So after you get a job, you come here and you can probably learn a very basic German and you should be fine. So that's what she told. Because any unconditional offer letter to apply for national overseas scholarship. Yeah, so like I told you should be able to get uh, unconditional offer if you apply for that certain type of course. Hope you will get a new job soon, bro. Stay strong. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get something. Also, that company from... Netherlands, the small startup that was hiring me. They revoked my offer letter last month, so that's that. It's it's really bad. I mean, everywhere it's so bad. <laughs> and one more thing, what I have noticed is when you are applying for jobs, and a company looks into your profile. They don't really appreciate if you are doing something of your own, you know. People might think that YouTube will play a good role to boost my profile. But I think YouTube has played a negative role in my profile. 
because when i applied for internship uh, when i was in my first semester one of the company they looked into my youtube and they were like you are doing youtube as well you are doing masters as well so you have lot of things to do you won't be able to do this particular internship so we are uh, not going to give you this particular internship and the internship that it was given to my friends i helped them to make dashboards and i helped them to uh, work around that particular tool and they were able to get that internship but i did not get it so that was there even in this company where i was working they probably did not appreciate it much they were like how do you manage time they were they used to ask in uh, like indirect questions but uh, i was pretty sure that they did not appreciate it much so companies don't really like people to have something of their own because they scare they are scared of that someday you will leave but i think what they should appreciate is if you are someone who can do something on your own you can take charge of uh, your own work you can take ownership of your own work but companies usually don't appreciate that so um that's the bad thing as for me i would highly suggest people to have something of their own because it helps you to gain other other skills which are actually very transferable so it's always good to have something so even if you just write a blog and it's not easy to write a blog because you, i think it's easy to make people understand something when you are talking on camera but with a blog i think it's even harder so if you are someone who writes a very good blog and if you are able to convey your findings and if you are able to convey your knowledge to your readers via blog i think it's it's very good but i don't know why uh, some companies are just too wary of it and uh, it's just too bad but i don't really care about what the company thinks if they are ready to accept me as what i have and i'm really proud of the community which i have created so if they get offended by this it's their problem i don't really care about it so yeah that's there that's good to hear my application to rod arkan is under review right now i just got the email from them two days back hoping for the best but i am scared to spend it na lakhs even in germany but why do you need to spend 25 lakhs in germany because i think there you don't really have to pay that much you just have to pay around 500 uh, euros per semester i guess which is not that much i think you're talking about living expenses and stuff yeah that could be expensive because if you want to stay there for 2 years as a student i think you will be spending quite a lot i'm planning to pursue masters in data science so which country will be better in europe and uh, which college has better learning with job opportunities so in terms of course curriculum i still believe that uk has a very good course curriculum because it's very practical you do lot of different projects so by the time you will finish your masters you will have a very good portfolio and uh, but in terms of job market i think uk is not doing very good probably germany is looking okay but then i used to told his friend is trying to find a job in it sector for like he's trying to find it for like what 6 months now but uh, he hasn't been able to find it so from this it's not looking good but one of my friend she is doing her masters from germany she said that uh, that she that the market is looking okay not good but it's okay so um considering job market i think germany would be a better place to go but uh, in terms of course curriculum i still believe uk has a better course curriculum because germany has a more theoretical approach 
glad for you to be here man if you weren't be here we wouldn't be getting these insights keep at it you are doing great work and really appreciate your live streams and this is what i really like you know these kind of comments these kind of motivations it always helps me and that's why even on such bad days like this one i am still here i'm talking to you guys so yeah i always like to uh give insights um uh, about whatever i have so yeah um uh, i will be here hey sanjay i'm fine how are you oh in rod arkam there is a fees for around oh okay i thought they did not have fees okay i did not ask this thing because i just assumed that uh rod did not have fees so i'll probably ask my friend again but yeah you are telling that it's they do have fees so it's quite expensive If you're finding the live stream to be helpful, just give it a thumbs up. It it always helps. It's very it's it's absolutely free for you. But for me, with the YouTube algorithm and stuff, it really helps. I am from civil engineering background and worked in IT industry before as junior data scientist so which top university should I target for my study in data science and artificial intelligence so some good universities which I can suggest you is University of Edinburgh is definitely a good one University of Bath is a good one then lse is a very good university so these are some of the best universities you can also look into um, newcastle university but then they have increased their fees by quite a lot university of glasgow is there so uh, university of st andrews in is again a very good university so these are some of the top universities which you can look into there are few universities in germany that have that semester contribution of around 200 but they are fairly hard to get in uh, okay i thought rat is also part of that particular uh, group of universities hmm hello bro i am studying at hertfordshire university all the best mate uh, it's a good university with a good course so yeah i hope you are finding the course curriculum to be good and if you would like to share your experience it would be really helpful for other people as well so if you would like to share your experience you can again reach out to me on um uh, linkedin or you can email me you can find my email on on about section of my channel so if you would like to share your experience just reach out to me and it would be really helpful for other people as well bro in my brp and visa sticker there is spelling mistake and i have applied uk vi inquiry any idea how long it might take um sorry to hear that but i don't really have idea about how much time it will take probably you can just google and you will you will get a link for uk government website probably you will be able to find something there but i don't really have any idea about it because i never had to do this so sorry about that i completed my bsc in may 2022 worked as business development associate at urban company from september to december and from 
in january i have started working as data analyst in pune startup that's looking good some public universities have even increased that um semester contribution in germany to 1500 pounds wow everybody is getting expensive right now no are you just planning to do series about statistical concept just for ml or other subjects areas to let us know um yeah i will be doing uh, other series as well so i started with statistic is simply because first i thought i will be doing python as well but the thing is there are already lots and lots of uh, python tutorials and they are actually good uh, as for statistics also there are some playlists but the thing is either they are too mathematical or they are they're just using uh, packages and they are not giving lot of insights about the statistics so that's what i found so for now i am focusing on statistics but in the future yes i will be going through machine learning and deep learning as well so yeah in the due time um uh, there's a lot of things uh, planned so yeah i will be making tutorials based on those things as well but i was planning to undergo uh, my masters in data science this september from sheffield uh, do you think i should delay it or drop it looking at the current situation um yeah uh, it's really not a good time to take this risk but if you if you have time i think it it's good to delay and probably work uh and gain some experience so if you get around 2 3 years of experience if you don't have any if you gain 2 3 years of experience after that if you go for masters i think you'll have much better prospect but right now it's very hard to find job because some of my batch mates were freshers they're finding job right from the beginning and they haven't been able to find any right now so uh they started looking for like what in may so may 2022 so and they're still finding so it's really hard it's better to not take the risk because when you take calculated risk it's fine but right now it is not looking like a calculated risk it's looking like a really really big risk ashin did you make a knocker profile in indian job market and yes um yeah i have applied uh, for few jobs but i haven't heard anything yet so i did try that i think it will take a little bit longer i will apply for more and we'll see I came to Hertfordshire University in twenty one September, and my course is data science and analytics with placement here. Yeah, bro, it's a good university for sure. Sure, I will share my experience. Thank you, Darshan. It will be really helpful for a lot of people. So please, uh, do reach out to me on LinkedIn or using the email from the board section. Do you think that? the company are hiring students from top universities still or not even that um i can't really say that because people from because if i take an example one student or uh, one of my friend he is a fresher from newcastle university and i also have friends who are fresher from uh, northumbria university so there is a huge gap in terms of ranking in both the universities and they both are finding it hard to find a job so i can't really say that companies are still hiring from top universities and they are avoiding lower ranked universities that is not the case it's just the situation is so bad that everybody is finding it hard to 
find a job. Yeah, like I told you, uh, Sanjay, job market is not really good, and even for next two years, it's not looking that good. Also, if you need some help with the referral, uh, you can let me know. I have few friends who are data scientists. Uh, they can surely refer you in India, and one of them even switched his job with a great package. That would be uh, really helpful. I wish I will definitely let you know. Uh, for now, I am trying to find something in the UK, and just for a research purpose, whether it is possible to find a job in India after masters in the UK, I am applying on my own. And not trying for referrals so um yeah i will definitely let you know if things go really bad here and if i want to go back to india i will uh, surely let you know about uh referrals that would be really really helpful Do you think Russia Ukraine ending the war will improve the situation? I was hoping that things change in next two years. That's why I was planning to. Um. Yeah. If this war stops, I think things will be much better because if you see country like Ukraine is been fighting for more than uh, not more than but almost a year now. Probably it's more than a year now. <laughs> yeah it's been a quite a it's been a long war right now they wouldn't have been able to do it without the funding from us so us has funded around 130 million or billion <laughs> yeah something like that dollars to ukraine and which is much more than india's defense budget so instead of spending that much money on a war if us has spent that much money on development and other things it would have been much better for everyone but uh, and also they're getting support from eu and uh, probably from uh, uk as well so everybody is spending money on a wrong stuff which is war rather than putting that money on development and helping the economy to go bit uh, go uh, in a positive direction but uh, yeah if this war ha war gets to end and uh, uh, people start to put money in right places i think the situation will be much better i've just reset my phone and i don't have on my phone you can drop uh, so the thing is if any one of you try to post a link in the chat i think what youtube does is it picks it as a spam so i think that was the reason why last time when i was trying to post links it was not aligned because i was on a on my personal account i think so that was the reason so if you will try to post a link i think it will be it will be hard to uh, get that so what you can do is you can just post your uh, linkedin username i think so if you just put your username i think it should be fine and you will be able to connect what but do you think startup companies are the first to get affected or even the bigger companies in the uk are firing a lot of people now. um everybody is affected even i was working in a startup and i got laid off so 
even startups are not immune to those things and even startups are trying to be very conservative and they are not uh, hiring a lot of people and as soon as they think that they are going to lose a project or they are going to uh, lose anything obviously uh, obviously it's going to affect people and people are going to get fired so yes um, even startups are getting affected quite a lot what is literally the business for us have you seen the military budget of that country yeah exactly it's just a business they just want russia to be destroyed and uh, that's why they are doing everything because they are just supplying weapons and stuff their people are not dying it's uh, ukraine uh, army and people from ukraine are dying so it's just a money loss for uh, us but if they're able to destroy russia probably they will be able to make a lot of money because it's like a business model uh, what amazon operate for or even reliance geo uh, operate for so what prime does is they were offering a lot of uh, different benefits to people who were opting for prime and the cost of prime was really small and also they are offering like three months or six months of free prime which is actually not any beneficial to amazon they are losing out on a lot of money but because of that people started using prime and a lot of other smaller businesses went out of uh, uh, business and uh, those smaller companies were just uh, killed and because of that there was just monopoly in the market and uh, amazon prime then increased their prices and now they have like so much uh, they're making good money on prime as well same was done by reliance geo and now that same thing us is doing with uh, russia so it's a it's a very common business which anybody can see but people just see that uh, russia is bad because they are attacking a small country like ukraine what they are not seeing is who is actually playing the important role behind that particular war it can become a very <laughs> controversial topic i don't want to get into it too much deep because sometimes people on the internet they get offended very easily by few things so yeah that's it but uh, yeah if you try to look at a bigger picture you can easily see what's going on i have done my undergrad in civil engineering in india and uh, will be starting my msc in university of surrey next month if at all i don't get job as business analyst can i get into civil engineering job um i think it's really hard to find a civil engineering job in the uk because it's already a developed country they don't do they don't do a lot of construction work so it could be hard but you could actually try to uh, look into but the thing is they will ask you that you have done your bachelor's in civil engineering and then you wanted to switch to uh, business analyst analytics and now you are again trying to find a job in civil engineering what why are you so confused so that could be something which will play against you so that is something you need to consider is there any chances of getting top 100 ranked university uh, for non it background student who worked in it company before yes it is definitely possible to get into top 100 university It's like they spend at least sixty percent of their economic budget in defense, which includes making and selling weapons. Yeah, man, got you. I feel you, but it's true that it's the U.S. who's at the fault of the situation. They are one of the major reasons, at least. Yeah, I totally agree. So that's the thing. <laughs> uh, we can blame anyone here and uh, it's just game of war you can say so that's what is going on 
But yeah, we can't really do much about it. We can just focus on our own stuff and hope things will be better in the future. And let's hope things will be better in the future. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we are over one hour now and uh, I need to do quite a lot of stuff. I need to work on the video as well, which will be going live at four. And I also have a one-to-one -one meeting with one of the members. So, uh, uh, member of the channel. So yeah, um, I will be ending the stream now because i have already answered quite a lot of questions and it was again a very great discussion here as always i'll take this last one by rishab and we will call it a day bro i spent my last 1.5 years researching about uk and how will i pursue my data science masters there and now i can't really think of dropping it what should i do um It's, it's a hard one, you know, because I know the pain because you have done so much research and you came to a conclusion that, yeah, this could be the right country for me, weighing all the different factors. But now, seeing this bad situation right now, the only thing which looks like a better option is to drop the plan. But it's hard. I know, but uh, but it's very risky, you know. It's it's very risky to uh, come right now because if you come here and if you are not able to find a job, and if you just rely on part time jobs and stuff. It's not worth it. I think it's better to find something back in India. And uh, so what I can suggest is it's it's not worth taking this particular risk. It's really very risky. So try to find a job in India and work there for two, three years. And if things start to look better, then probably you can reconsider. But right now, it's really bad. How difficult it is to pay the loan if there is delay in getting job after MSc? Is it possible to earn significant amount? So I already have a video on the other channel. So what I will do is I will share the link with you of that particular video. There I have actually taken example and I have explained you how much you can earn and uh, whether it is possible to pay back your uh, uh, loan so i will where is the chat so i'm posting this link here of that video this video should give you a very good idea Are there any tips for freshers in this job market? Also, how can we get a one-to-one -one meeting with you? Um, so yeah, to get a one-to-one -one meeting with me, you just need to join a channel membership and uh, you can book a one-to-one -one meeting with me. And uh, tips for freshers. I think if you are able to find an internship, I think that would be a very good start. Try to participate in a lot of different hackathons because there are also some people look for, look out for some good talent. So these are some of the things which can be done. Again, working on portfolio projects that I have talked about quite a lot in other live streams and videos as well. So that is there. And also try to go for meetups. So this is what these are things which can be done as a fresher to probably find a job in this particular market. Um, so yeah, uh, this is it for today guys and it was really nice talking to you all and uh, hope to see you in the next live stream. I don't know what is happening this. Um, so yeah, uh, hope to see you in the uh, next live stream. I do live stream every Saturday, um, 12 p.m. GMT. So see you guys next week. 
and uh, have a great weekend and all the best everyone i know it's hard times but we just have to stay strong and we have to keep uh, pushing and keep working towards our skills and hopefully things will be better soon so yeah uh, bye everyone have a great weekend